Hello all, this is Kita with the Kita Sense of Life, and I am having a hair emergency. I am putting this unit on, it's synthetic. I reviewed it in the video, I will pop around here somewhere, but um, I had to take some professional photos for work headshots today and didn't know that. So it was a hurry up quick because I was doing the whole, yeah, let's be at home with the camera off work day. So what I'm doing here is I just grabbed a wig on the pile and it still had residue on it. Yes, I was lazy last time I wore it because I do rotate my units. I did not wash off the guts to be spray and glue that I used to install. So I hand washed with a little soap and water around the lace and that was me blow drying it and brushing it out. This is a synthetic unit and I've worn it a bunch of times so the ends are frizzy now and what I'm doing is just getting my own hair up in um, my two Pocahontas braids, getting that hair up in the wig cap, spraying it with my uh, airbrush spray so it looks more realistic. Doing the same thing with the lace on the actual wig and blow drying it. First I put the Gots to Be spray, let that dry, and now you see me spraying the airbrush spray. I used a light color to match my scalp a little better. And then you let that dry. So that's what I'm doing here, is letting that dry which is also continuing to dry the hair around the perimeter and the lace where I hand washed it. So I'm just taking off the excess spray with a little alcohol, 91%. Putting some gots to be right at the edge to keep the stocking cap in place. Still blow drying to help that process out. So it's going to become a little tacky to help with placing the unit and drying everything. Putting the unit on, you can see this unit has little highlights of color popping through it. Now I'm just sort of getting it in place so I can start the process of really working on the hairline and getting it set. Getting it behind my ears, brushing the hairline through, placing it. Now I'm working on the combs that are inside, which will help it not to move as well. So here we go, pulling everything back so we can get things set, working on the hair around the ear tabs first to make sure it's aligned properly. So we're adding our Gots to Be spray. Like I said, this is emergency hair. Emergency! <laughs> Blow drying that to get it a little tacky. Again. Now setting the middle down. I'm using the freeze mousse. Now this mousse is supposed to be able to hold your wig down all by itself. I've never been able to make that happen, but I've seen plenty of videos where people have been successful in doing that. I just ain't one of them. But still using it to help get the hair in place, move it around. Uh, get the hairline looking a little more natural for the photographs I have to take. I'm working on having sort of a side swoopy part. And I need to get that 
part of the hairline together. Yeah, I'm not an expert at this. This is me being just like y'all. But this is how I get it done. I'm still in the middle of my Cheve challenge. I will link that video somewhere around here. Um, my new growth is out of control. I'm just getting into the fourth week. But I got to part my hair, y'all. I got to do the touch-up. But you'll see that. Still working on some adult hairs, not baby hairs. <laughs> and the hair around the ears so that that sits more naturally. This is the side you will see more since the, because of the side part. Blow drying that down so it will hold. Now I'm moving to the other side. And blow drying and getting that front, very front piece together, trying to. Now we're working with the rest of the hairline and the ear area. And I'm using the back of a comb to hold it in place while it's drying, using my little brush with the small comb on the end and the toothbrush like brush at the other end. Still working with the mousse. And you can see the hairline really trying to form up here. You can see the line of demarcation of my wig cap, but I'm going to fix that later. Now that the hairline is mostly set, I'm putting my hair up so I can put my uh, elastic band on easier. Forgive the condition of my elastic band. Like I said, this is emergency. I will be clipping the ends of this hair that are frizzy. Right now, since I have the headband, headband, the elastic band on, I'm just brushing through, combing through to the ends to see what I have to do with the the hair as far as that's concerned so i found that just using a little bit of heat with the comb will help get the frizzies to be a little less prominent i'm also taking that comb around the hairline that's exposed right now and the part and that was my trash can so you can see that i am putting all the hair to one side i twist it and then I do a blunt cut across the bottom. And now I'm just taking those scissors and making the ends get rid of that harsh blunt line. Then I switch to the other side and do the exact same thing. That really does make a difference when you do it on both sides. I'm pinning up the middle part because I'm gonna do something else with that. So I'm twisting again cutting the hair. Now I'm taking those ends and taking the bluntness out of that cut. So that's cutting off those frizzies. You see me using my hot comb now uh, on the frizzy hair. And I'm taking the top, that piece in the middle, cutting it down some more so the curls will fall a little better. This is a straight synthetic unit actually but it does hold a decent little curl. Okay, so now I've got most of my face on and I'm doing some more trimming around the ears and I got a broke nail, y'all, sorry. I'm trimming the hair around the ear tab area and putting mousse on that to make that lay down. So I'm taking some concealer and working on that part. I will put the concealer down and then put powder. So those are the things that you see. <laughs> Little white spaces, now I'm putting powder in to set it 
and then taking a cotton round and just wiping the powder off of the hair that I don't want it on. So now we're just sort of combing the hair and seeing what we got. Showing you the ends. See how they just look curled now. I did hit the ends, uh, bump the ends with a curling iron. Now I'm just really trying to style a little bit and work with what I got. Yeah, we had to get rid of that gray cast around my mouth, working on that. Some finishing little touches with the makeup, but showing you what I've got now, since I have to take these work pictures I want you to see what I have and what I've been able to do with this emergency hair synthetic unit that is a straight unit, but you see it is holding curl. I want you to see what, a, what the final look basically looks like. And this hair is going to work well in an emergency pinch. This is how you slap on some a wig, some hair, and make it work for you for your purposes for the day. For me, it's pictures. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time and just thank you for supporting my channel. Bye-bye. Come back soon.